Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a massive like recap of Q1 and um, I'm probably going to go into my Q2 stuff when I do my Bujo. I'm going to outline all of it and just talk about some goals for Q2. But for Q1, um, I did the CP match and had amazing results. <laughs> really like I got one amazing extra CP and we have formed a group with my other CP and so it's just a lovely little YA contemporary group and we also want to like go do other things too but um, I, it's been so helpful I got feedback for Project Emma and oh my gosh <laughs> I knew there were issues like I knew there were some pacing issues and some things like that but this new CP Christy like really tore it down like how I wish I could do that for other people's books oh my gosh I just try to I still still try to work with that person's books instead of like breaking it down to like what might make it better like I need to get better about that but she tore it down and so I'm gonna be going in and making those changes hopefully this month hopefully March I can finish um I really want to uh really focus chapter by chapter typically I do fast writing and fast rewrites and I just always still need to keep revising after that because I think I do it too quickly so I really want to not leave a chapter until it is perfect. And this is something new for me. Um, hopefully because I've already done revisions on this book a bunch of times, it should be pretty seamless, but there are some major changes. So oh, fingers crossed. But I'm also trying something new with Bridie, my other CP, in which we are exchanging chapter by chapter, which is also new for me. Usually when I receive CP books, I want to read the entire thing in like a couple of days because then everything's fresh in my brain and I can really analyze it then. When it's like days go by, weeks go by between me reading your whole book, I'm likely going to forget things. So this is just something that we're going to try out as well. But the perk to chapter by chapter is that she can see something that's not working or hasn't been fleshed out as well and then I can go from like chapter three and work on that the rest of the book instead of writing the whole book her telling me that chapter three is where it all goes to pot and then I have a whole book to write again <laughs> so this will be interesting I'm trying a lot of different techniques this year in regards to CP work like I just mentioned and I'm going to be doing I did write on con I don't know if y'all signed up for that but um, I wasn't going to because I was like what new things could they give me <laughs> like <laughs> like a dummy um, and I found they did a lot about revisions which was awesome and so um and then like planning your novel in general which I had done and I thought I did better like I think my nano novel from 2020 um put a lot of things into practice uh, my project Emma and hashtag goals kind of had to catch up to the things I had learned after I'd written them and revised them so um that's why I think I'm still tweaking those more than I would for my nano novel or any future novels but I want to start planning better and actually writing out scenes um, before I would kind of just have a bullet point and would let myself pants in the middle which is really great discovery writing and I still think I need that so part of me now is like I really want to attempt fast drafting um, and just get the story there but I need to work on my brain really digging in and analyzing what would make it better what works what doesn't what to like tweak and twist basically how Christy and Bridie do to my books. I need to be able to do that to my own book so that I can get it more ready for when they read it. Um, I just feel really bad when like they critique it and I need to do a big revision and it's like well crap I need someone to read this again and like do y'all want to read it for the fifth time like that's where I'm like Ugh. so I'm trying to work on it. Um, that is a total goal of 2021 is just to be better about all of this. But with that, so I'm March, I'm going to attempt to finish Project Emma, this latest draft anyways, and see what Bridie says about that. And um, I have a couple of readers lined up for afterwards, so I um, can get fresh eyes on that and see how those changes are. I had to get a few theater opinions about some things, and so I'm hoping um, that one theater reader will be good for like the overall theater community <laughs> in how uh, the book plays out and if it's like good enough <laughs> um, theater wise and accurate enough. But yeah, so 
that's my March plans. And then currently, I'm filming this the last week of February. I am going through my nano novel. I had intended to read it and make notes, but good old Katie is already trying to make a new chapter one. And I'm basically, because I kind of remember enough, um, I'm basically going through the book, and which is really cool. So I haven't touched it since November, right? So there's a lot that I am now analyzing. So I guess that whole thing about like, I wish I could critique better. Like I totally am going through this, not this draft right now because I see um, I've had to learn that I put things out of order usually. Like I talk about stuff that isn't relevant till later. And so I'm learning to shift and move certain things for the pacing and um, just like you being interested in what's happening at that time and it makes sense. And so I've already found just going through and redoing chapter one, moving things out, taking things out completely. Um, this was a total fast draft in Nano, you know, so nothing was like super planned. I'd already redone the first, like the opening, like how that even is set up. Um, and just trying to go through it, going through where things need to go, how to like develop this better. Cause I think if y'all saw my Nano, um, the guy is different at the very beginning of the book from how he is as I discovered him as I wrote. So, um, tweaking all of that in the beginning initially and yeah, just going through that. But also I need to calm down and actually like, I still would really like to read it first before I go in, but I do know that it needs help in the third act and maybe even the second half of the second act. So that's where I wanted Bridie to come in and read it and kind of help see what I can put in there. Um, but I'm also trying to do that while doing this draft. I want to work on both things at once, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So I kind of think I might do this i'm calling it half of my heart we'll see um for camp nano but i'll get into nano stuff later because yeah i'm just really not sure i might try to do both in march i don't know i do know that i've already started at the end of february so that's how impatient i am but i got all these really cool notes for emma i've got a lot of this is like all my changes um and probably more than that but i also am reading wings of ebony by jl and then this monster holy crap a court of silver flames it's really difficult for me to read physical copies versus ebook because i can do that like while my kid is wherever and i don't have to worry about the book getting damaged or losing my place or like whatever so these take me a little while to get through but they're my current tbr currently reading um by the time this comes out hopefully i'll have finished one but um a lot of my tbr coming up is going to be in regards to comp titles for project emma and maybe even half of my heart i found a lot of great ones while on the write on con found a lot of great authors that i added to my list and their books and some other stuff that's going on pit mat is happening in march so i'm putting hashtag goals in that and then the next one is in june it'd be really cool i'm trying not to like get ahead of myself on goals like um, the only feedback I've had so far was to make it like lighter, like more bantery. And um, it starts off just more like pressurized, I guess. And so like it gets bantery, it gets there, but like that's the whole arc of it. So the, the agent that gave that feedback only had the first, you know, one to three chapters or however much it was. So I'm not trying to be like too bogged down in that, but... I've only done one round of agents still. I was going to do pit mad and then maybe send out round two towards the end of March. And I still want to give it time. I want to give goals a chance, even though I'm like biting, chomping at the bit to like pitch a different one in June, but we'll see. We had snow apocalypse here in Texas and by snow, I mean ice, ice, Mageddon. I don't know. <laughs> it was awful. Um, everyone lost electricity, power, heat. Um, a lot of people's pipes busted and then we had a boil water notice and um, down south where I was, we didn't even get that soft, like fun snow we got hard ice so it wasn't even worth it it wasn't fun <laughs> like it really just sucked but i'm um, glad that's over with and literally we went from like below 30 to the next week here i am and it's like 80 so texas is great that uh week at home i had to again learn actually had finished all my CP work and so um, that was really nice. I didn't have that expectation. I was letting my book simmer for brainstorming so I actually really didn't have any 
me expectations for that week which was perfect because I usually stress myself out to the point of a mental breakdown <laughs> um, and even like I had learned these lessons during quarantine initially in 2020 but then right on con reinforced this of like don't be precious about your time fit in what you can fit in if something can't happen, like a lot of the CP work I was doing required a Word document on the computer, which I can't take with me. So it's like, okay, do I switch it to Google Doc? Do I just brainstorm my own stuff? Do I just read right now? Um, shifting your focus, if y'all were like me and are still doing this, if you still have kids at home doing school or whatever, um, I know I still have to work at this, but basically like shift your brain so that you, you don't feel like you're not doing anything and you're not feeling productive, instead change that focus. Instead, listen to a podcast, and uh, like an audio book, um, read on your phone, take notes on your phone, brainstorm on your phone, or like whatever you're able to do in that moment so that you're not just thinking about, oh my gosh, I wish I was at my computer doing this. Um, and I've really had to work on that because I get so like this, like I want to do my thing when I want to do it where I want to do it. I'm totally that person. And so this like uh, COVID has like totally rah my brain, but, um, I'm really, really trying to learn to just let it go. And you know, you can only control what you can control and try to tweak and bend and flow with whatever you are able to do. That was good. I liked, I love watching the mom ones on the Red on Con and different things like that, the panels for moms. I really also love the panels where, or just person, where they're just talking about their own process. I love seeing what other people do in regards to like plotting versus pantsing, how many drafts they go through, how they revise if it's small to big, big to small, all at once or through multiple drafts. I cannot do that, holy cow. I would rather take care of it all in one read through than like go through multiple read throughs like blah. and I say quarter I'm making this before March has even happened so <laughs> January was actually January February was kind of stressful because I quickly tried to revise project Emma to get out to CPs and then found a bunch of CPs I read like um, two three two CP works plus um, a critique partner for like another critique partner. Um, and I that was in the span of like three weeks I had to do all that, oh, plus Bridie's book. So it was like four in a condensed time frame. I was also trying to read um, the new like Hunger Games one, the Ballad of Song of Birds of Summer and Snakes. Um, <laughs> I did not get through that. So that one's still sitting out there. I was trying to get through um, A Song Below Water. Is that what that one's called? And it ran out of time and I was just like, okay, like, I can stress about this or I can let it go and so I worked on my CP books and got that knocked out and oh, got through my uh, Emma feedback and so now, now I'm chill. Snowpocalypse was hectic but chill and I have a plan going forward as long as nothing interrupts that plan anymore. Um, it should be good. So March I'm planning to do a chapter a day of Emma pretty much and um, I guess I'll check in with y'all on how Q1 went in Q2 at some point. Um, be sure to check out, coming up is my Nano, no, Camp Nano vlog, and that'll give you some tips plus what I'm doing. So mix, and then I'll be doing my Bujo spread and like drawing it all out if y'all want to see that. I think I found the minimalist version that works perfectly for me and um, the concept that I want to do. I had tried it a lot of different things that I hated <laughs> and, and so I'll talk about that when I do the Bujo spread. I hope that y'all had really good luck during Pit Mad. Um, I'll attempt to update y'all. This is all my March videos. So what I'm planning is the whole month videos before that month happens and so it's really hard to go into like this is how it went because like you won't know that till April. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this update. It was a lot but hopefully structured kind of. Some other just random life updates is I've been watching WandaVision. Have y'all been watching that? It's probably over by now by the time this comes out. Um, that was really good. Really like that. Looking forward to more stuff and then um, still playing Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing on my Switch. Breath of the Wild's getting to the point that I don't want to play it anymore because I don't want to fight. I don't actually want to fight. I just want to go do the things. And I think I've done all the safe things at this point. So <laughs> I'm kind of just like chill. Yeah, if y'all have any shows or, um, yeah, movies that y'all recommend to all the boys, P.S. I Still Love You. Which one came out? 
Oh my gosh, whatever. The third installment. That was so cute, so good. So glad that we're done with those. Um, I loved watching those. So let me know how your Q1 went. Um, I know it's still happening as I make this video, but don't worry about it. Let me know any goals that y'all have for March or anything that you're proud of that has happened, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye!